looking at a set of front coil springs, which I removed from a 1985 300 TD wagon. These are heavy duty coil springs. And if you've been around Mercedes front suspension at all, you've already heard that it can be very dangerous to work on the front suspension of your car because of the high tension that these springs are under. Due to the weight of the diesel engine, these springs are compressed a lot and anytime you're working around your front end, you want to be really careful of these springs. If they come flying out, they've, they've actually killed people in the past, so it's something you don't want to take lightly. I always recommend people to just take, if they've got major front end work that needs to be done, just take it to a good front end shop and have them do the work. They're already set up, they have the tools, they have the equipment, and oftentimes they can do it twice as fast as you can anyway. And in the past, you had to pay at least $600 for one of these Mercedes. It has to be a very special spring compressor. You cannot use these type that clamp on the side. That's extremely dangerous. So there is a special spring compressor that uses two plates and a shaft that goes down through that helps compress the spring. And you had to pay $600 for that. And you know, for most of us DIY mechanics, we're not interested in paying that much money for something that we only may use once or twice. But just recently now, a whole bunch of spring, uh, you know, reproduction spring compressors coming out of China have showed up in the market, and you can now buy these for under $200. So recently I purchased one of these sets, decided to give it a try to just see how well it works. And it worked great. I mean, there are a couple problems with it, which, you know, I hope to explain sometime in the future when I do a full set of instructions on this. But in this video, I'm just going to show you a few little things you have to deal with when you're trying to remove, particularly a front spring, using this type of spring compressor. The kit comes with five parts in it. You have this center shaft, which is your compressor shaft, and then you have four plates. The two larger plates are for the rear spring in a 123 or 126 chassis, and the two smaller plates are for the front spring. You look closely here, they have different size holes, so when you plan to put them into the spring, you want the larger hole on the top because the compressor rod has to go down through the top of the inner fender panel. Put that on the, one of the top spring openings and you put the smaller opening one on the bottom. Then you can insert the compressor, compression rod right through until it gets, you. And this is where you really have to struggle if you're in the car. You've got to get it in to that bottom plate and then rotate it like that. And then you can use a wrench, get on the end of this big nut here and tighten that down and that will compress the spring like you see in the picture here. And you've got to compress the spring quite a bit. You can tell that it, th this isn't something that you can just move a couple inches. You've got to bring this spring down tight so that you can actually get it out and on the ground. Once you get it on the ground, you're still going to have to be a little careful to back that center rod out to get the two plates out. Now, I always treat this spring like a poisonous snake, and I think you should too. There's been times I've even tied it off with a rope when I'm a little nervous about it popping out by accident. So be very careful. If you don't feel comfortable about doing this job, once again, I recommend you just take it to a good front suspension shop. You may have already seen this compressor for sale but weren't sure how it works. My intent in this video was to just give you a quick overview of the operation and how to get that spring compressed. There's a lot more involved and it can be a little tricky, particularly on the 123 chassis. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to carry this tool because it is so readily available now at very reasonable prices. But I do intend to write a, ser a set of complete instructions on how to use it and those should be available sometime in the fall of 2011. 